through here. Now I'm gonna do a measurement on where I'm gonna be making the lines. So this is very important that I use this because it measure where your middle part is. Oh it's gonna sit like this. So you can see these lines. Oh, I see. Here. You find the center of the, the piece, the geographic yes. center, if you will. <laughs> then you mark your lines. Oh, this is for the saw work. Yes. Oh, I see. So it's exact. Yes. Oh, how nice. Okay. There we go. This is what pattern that I pick has to go with the shape of the stone. So, so you call this carving or saw work. Yes. And the number of lines has to do with the design itself and how it fits with the stone. And I have to do all four three sides to get this. Six lines. Okay, now I have all four sides. Get a tiny file like this. Going to smooth it? Yes, right here. Make ah. it round. Oh, I see. You're making a curve where that little triangle was sawed. Mm hmm. Ah. Make it more. Oh, I see. Curvy it's and round. more attractive. And to make Okay, now we're done with this part. I just need to do the Just need bail. to do the bail? Uh-huh. You gotta measure. Oh my, that makes a straight line every time. Every time. And it just, it just snips and out. You just take your scissor, cut it. And the hole will be, huh? Yes. You have to measure it again. A lot of geometry in this, I see. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see what you're measurement. doing. Measurement. Oh, it's all about the measurement. So now, let's see. Cut it up to... Make another line. So, you know where to Cut and get. Okay, now we're going to make the bale. I see you've cut the piece that's going to be yeah. made into a round. I cut round it like it. this. Ah, that's yes. for the bale. And if I need to get it round and in shape, I can just get a stamp. Bend oh, it around it like this. Nice to have that handy. Uh huh. See? And then you just. Oh, I work see. with your pliers. Well, you're going to bring the two ends together again. Boy, you do a lot of that. All I need to do now is um, make a jump ring. Again, on the jump ring, I can just use any round. A nail or whatever's the right. right. Yeah, the right size and just wrap it around it. Oh, I see. Then you're going to cut yeah. one end of it. That's a nice way to make a bunch of jump rings, my goodness. Yes. So then you just make it to make it even. Make it even and then you come to your bits. 
put a little bit of a flux on yeah. here. A famous on flux. This one. Silver solder wire. Silver solder wire. 65 again. Number 65. And then you just heat this little area from where you want the solder. Mm -hmm. Touch it. You know, it's very hot. I want to use the freezer to move it around. See if it's in the middle. Yes. Now you dip it in the acid again. Now, just hook it on. If it's too big, a little too big. <coughs> so I make it so it's out. right. And then you use the file. Mm -hmm. A little here, a little there. Oh, that's gonna. Oh, it's gonna. It makes lumpy. Yes. So there you go. Stuff here. More magic flux. Just a little bit on a little bit of a smaller flame now. I can put a salt in wow. and just heat up the whole piece up. Then you leave it in the acid for like at least 30 minutes get it real clean. They're all nice and clean. Mm -hmm. So now we're almost done with the pendants. There you go. So now checking you have, now you check everything. solder spots. Solder spots and lumps and mm -hmm. things are not even. It's, we're on the finishing stages you would say then. to make it look more like a shadow box. Uh-huh, inside here. It brings up the drama. And the lines, so you can see. Brings up the lines. Wipe it dry. So, what is the next step then? Next step is to do the high shine. <laughs> Set the stone into the final high buff piece. Boy, does that look nice. Oh, if you have a very thick stone, you don't need to put sawdust under it because it has its own support. Yes. But a thinner stone would need a little more cushion. Yeah, the thinner the stone, the more sawdust you would need to raise the stone. I see. To the so you put a little bit of that in there. And then you put the stone in on top. And since the stone is cut with slanted sides a little bit, you can press that. Now it's not all evenly cut. This is how it usually is with a natural stone. Oh, well, more so stone. the one side that's thinner, I'm going to put more sawdust in there. Oh, I so see. It has to be balanced with the shape of the... Oh, I see what see. you're doing. So the sawdust might be a little... Just a little thicker or thinner, on the one side so that the there. stone looks even on the top. Mm -hmm. Just set it on top, mm -hmm. and you press the bezel, bezel in and tighten the stone. Oh my! And you do the corners first. Mm-hmm. Oh, because it fit right here. That's your finished. Thank piece you so right much, Anna, for this wonderful demonstration.